Okay, Aquarius, welcome back to TJ Tarot Down Under. Going to do the love energy coming towards you as at now. Let's go. Give me three cards for the love energy coming towards Aquarius, please. Oh, we got them. That was quick. Very quick. I like that. <laughs> Good on you, Aquarius. <laughs> well, your person's energy <laughs> coming towards you. All right, clarify card one, please. So this is a general reading. Take what resonates, leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate at all, you can check out your other placements. Or check out my playlists and see if there's something that resonates for you there, which I'm sure there will be. Because this is the current energy, and it's the strongest energy that pushes its way in. <laughs> Takes over the ratings. <laughs> okay, clarify card two, please. Cross watches. This could be your energy. If not, it will be somebody else's. So please do keep that in mind. You may not be the only one thinking about Aquarius right now. Clarify card three, please. All the decks are pre shuffled and I'll list them below in the description box in the order that I'm using them. Ooh. In case you're interested in what these decks are. Okay, they wanted to come out in the other order. Fair enough. Let's keep going. Three more for the love energy coming towards Aquarius, please. I know it takes a while, but... Oh, it's gone on the floor. Okay, let me just get that card. Where did it go? Oh, we've got two on the floor. Wow. So we got them all out. You go there, and you go there. That was good. Come out nice and fast, and cool. I didn't move the camera, so that's good. Yeah, I like to get them all out first. Clarify card one in row two, please. I know it takes a while, but I like to get them out on camera so you can see them jumping. And I don't like to read first and then do the next cards. I used to do that, but I'd rather not influence anything with my energy. Clarify card two in row two, please. I like to keep it as blank as possible. Clarify card three, please, in row two. So, yeah, until I start reading. Okay, now we're going to get into the energy. <laughs> Let's begin. There's one more deck, but that'll be at the end. And if you're a regular, you know that. <laughs> okay, let's go. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Ooh. So they're waiting for the right time. Oh, look at that. The sun card. Woo. Sunny days are sweeping the clouds away. Yes, I know. It's a Sesame Street song, and that's fine. I used to love Sesame Street. Bert and Ernie. Kermit the Frog with Sesame Street News. Anyway. <laughs> old school. <laughs> anyway. No, no, they've wrecked it now. But anyway. So they're waiting for the right time. To get their happiness, to make everything clear, to bring everything out in the open. Ooh. Okay. They think it's worth waiting for their happiness. Because they're just waiting for you. You. She said, I'm waiting for you. Susie Quattro song. What's that song? I think I'm maybe too young to fall in love, but I'm still hanging round. Um, is that what it's called? Maybe too young? Oh, I can't remember, but it's good Caesar Quattro song. Okay, so two things have given away my age group. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> with age comes wisdom, well, we hope. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. 
So, calling you in, Aquarius. Ooh, because you're their wish fulfillment. Nine of Cups. Page of Pentacles. <sighs> Seeing you in person. I want to talk to see you in person. Talk to you in person. Giving you a gift. They see you as a gift. Oh, wow. Emotionally fulfilled on their own. Yes, they're single and emotionally fulfilled on their own. Calling you in as they wish. Because you are the gift. It's like you're this pentacle that they're holding so carefully in their fingertips. The precious. <laughs> the precious. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> wow. All right. And flirt. Extend your light-hearted energy to others. Okay. That's different. Okay. Let's find out what they. Yeah, what the goal is. What that is. Ooh, Knight of Cups and Six of Pentacles. See, energy to others, giving to others. Actions of love. Actions of emotion. Could be a balanced connection. See, even though they're flirting, they do want to show action. Yeah, okay. So, um, yes, they might be a bit flirty, and they might flirt with other people too, but I'm um, hearing, look at their actions towards you, because they won't do those actions to anyone else. Their actions of emotional, um, and love and caring and emotion, yeah, watch their emo their actions. Their actions will, as I say, actions speak louder than words. Flirting is just words. Actions is a different thing. And I'm hearing it's like... They're only giving to them because they need it. So um, they might say something nice to somebody. Like... A bit flirty maybe but it's only because that person needs the confidence building it's like they don't do it to actually flirt with someone or you know with someone else who is fl who doesn't need to be you know told how pretty they look or how handsome they look um, it's someone that needs that just those nice words said to them. So, extending that light-hearted energy to others, yeah, it's to those who need that a bit of a boost. Uh, but watch their actions, actions of love. Yeah. Okay, so don't feel that they're like a, a sleazy, flirty you know, trampy or anything like that. I think they give light-hearted energy to others, but watch their actions of love towards you because they only are giving what's needed to those, yeah, like light-hearted attention is for those in need is what I'm hearing. And it's not anything sleazy or, or like, yeah, I'm feeling it's a little light-hearted energy. It might be a little joke or a little compliment or something. I don't think it, they're flirting with other people to try and pick them up. I don't feel it's that sort of energy. It's just being nice. Which, you know, some people take being nice the wrong way. Some people are, people are just nice to you because they just want to be nice. Not because they want anything else from you, so... Just be aware of that. Some people don't get that for some strange reason. 
Okay, gratitude. You fully appreciate the invaluable lessons that life lovingly presents to you. Queen of Wands. Ooh. <coughs> so I'm hearing confidence. Um, hot and sexy. <laughs> Confident. <laughs> Um, I think that they're a very good looking person and they're very confident and they're grateful and fully appreciate that they have that ability to be confident because a lot of people don't. And that's why, what I feel here is that they are very confident. They are very sure of themselves. They know how to go after what they want, um, I'm not getting any of the negative side of the Queen of Wands here. It's all the positive side energy. Very loving, very passionate about life. But that's what I feel with this energy here, that, that they know some people don't have that confidence. So they try and give them a bit of a confidence boost, which is really good. And they, it just makes them even more grateful that they do have this confidence because they see people struggling with that. See, it's an emotion, actions of emotion to help people. Wow. Peacefulness. You recognize that balance, kindness, and love bring calmness to your soul. I think, I feel they are quite a peaceful person. Ow! I just stabbed myself in the palm with my own thumbnail. <laughs> that hurt. <laughs> I got pretty strong nails. They don't bend. Yeah, and I just stabbed myself. <coughs> okay, Eight of Swords, that's interesting. I think they get, mm, see, trapped in, trapped, caught. What's this, thinking about it all the time. What is this? Why am I, the peacefulness in, recognise. Balance, kindness, and love bring calmness to your soul. See, I think they see people that feel that they're trapped when they're not. Like, this isn't going all the way around. It's just round the back there and one out here. This is all open. They can walk away. It's not even on tightly. It's sagging down they could get their arms out take this blindfold off see that they're not trapped and walk away um i think that they like to bring the calmness to other people bring peace to other people bring balance see look people that are trapped you recognize that balance kindness and love bring calmness to uh, to the soul. So trying to make people feel when they feel this tension and that they're trapped and stuck in their head and stressing out, they like to bring this peacefulness to them by using their attributes of their confidence. Oh, this is a great person. I really like this energy. They really actually care about other people and they've got all this confidence and but they're using it for good oh this is nice well yay watch this will throw it all off <laughs> oh, wait. I hope it doesn't acceptance you are ready to release control of situations or people and lovingly embrace the rhythm of life. Yeah, and I think this is another thing of their attri attributes of who they are too, that they're not trying to control people here or situations. Um, there's a rhythm to life. And look, if people don't want to feel better, that's fine. It, you know, they try and use their charms and strengths for good but if someone doesn't want to accept that that's fine they just yep no worries you know if someone doesn't want their 
whatever. They're, they're not controlling, they're not trying to change people and they're not trying to control people's lives and you have to be happy so I'm going to do this so that you're happy and no. The, the Hierophant and the Knight of Pentacles, it's, yeah. I'm hearing they believe that everyone moves at their own pace. Hierophant's belief systems. And the Knight of Pentacles is actions of stability, but yeah, don't move till he's ready. I mean, he can move quite slowly. But he is the one that will cross the finish line and set up shop, or set up home. And, like, he, he gets there and stays there. The other knights aren't guaranteed to stay. Um, well, the Knight of Swords isn't guaranteed at all to stay. He's like a... That knight is like... Yeah, you see him coming and then he'd be gone. You're like, no. Nah. And the Knight of Wands isn't... Yeah. He'll stay a fraction long, a little bit longer for a bit of romance and then he's gone. Knight of Cups. Mm. He can, yeah, he'll probably stay a while longer <laughs> for the romance and the love and the duh. But this one, yeah, as you can see, it doesn't move very fast at all. So when they get there, they aren't going anywhere. <laughs> but anyway. So, yeah, accepting the fact, yeah, accepting that, that they're not, not trying to control people or situations or anything like that, just letting things happen, they're just trying to be nice to people, and that's fine, because they believe that everyone goes at their own pace, like I said. Wow. Okay. So this is a really balanced, down-to-earth, hot and sexy, um, confident person. I just, yeah, um... It's it's just great energy. This is just great energy. Wow. Yeah. And they think their happiness is worth waiting for when the right one comes along, calling in their soulmate, the the one they're wishing for, the one that is that beautiful gift. Well, that's you is who they're hoping it will be. Um Yeah. And this is just nice energy. This is just a good person. I don't see... And someone... Oh, it's just unreal. Someone who has gifts. Uh, we've got... I'm afraid of commitment under the deck. But I don't think that's... Uh, what's under that? I'm going crazy without you. Hmm? No. I don't think that's meant for the reading. Um, they're saying no. It's not meant for the reading. So, a lot of the other readings, the pre-shuffle, the bottom of the deck was spot on with the reading, but this one, there was one other one that it just wasn't anything to, well, ended up being the opposite that came out. So, let's see. What would this love energy like to say to Aquarius, please? Again, what would this love energy like to say to Aquarius? Ooh. Okay, let's see what we've got. Look, that one was first actually. We have, I'm not good enough for you. So, what's what? See, this person. As awesome as they are on the table here, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> all that positive energy and everything, they still don't feel that they're good enough for you. They still are putting you like this, or like everything here has a positive spin on it. And I'm not putting it on. This is just the messages I'm getting. And yet they still feel that you are, you are the precious. The precious. And that they're not good. <laughs> Wow. 
it just keeps getting better and better, doesn't it? It was hard for me to let you go. Okay, so what's that? It will be hard. It will be hard for them to let you go if you're... Okay, so I'm hearing another message. They may come in a bit flirty, but they will show you actions of love that will balance that out. Okay, I'm getting all new messages now. Um, they would show massive gratitude if you, this is how they see you. As this hot and sexy, confident, independent, strong person. This is how they see your energy. Loving, passionate about life. They would be, show massive gratitude to have you in their life. And that's why it's hard for them to let you go. And basic, And they have no peace. Because all they can think about is you. <laughs> and <laughs> okay and they're hoping that you will accept their proposal of commitment when they eventually get to that <laughs> wow Wow, 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 Aquarius. It just keeps getting more and more positive, doesn't it? Yeah, okay. So we were getting aspects of what they do, so you might recognise them, but then this is all actually comes back to their energy again with towards you. It's like I had to get through all that to actually get to, wow, yeah. They're hoping you'll accept a commitment offer and actions of stability towards... It's going to be so hard for them to let you go. Um, they're worried they're not going to be good enough. Because you are their wish. And I'm still getting the precious. You are their... Precious. Well, they're just... Yeah. All right. <laughs> I'm going to go. Because <laughs> this is going to go for too long. <laughs> All right, Aquarius, well, that's your reading. I knew there was a reason why I was a bit bubbling before I started it. Look at this. It's great. All right, well, I hope this one works out for all of you. <laughs> Just don't all go for the same person. I hope you get one each. All right. Okay, well, that's your reading. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Leave a nice comment. That will be awesome. And thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you so much. Thank you, thank you. All right, all the best. Take care. Good luck. And I'll catch you later.